Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. What's going on, guys? If you're watching this video, hopefully you've watched the other one because all the other ones leading up to this video will make a lot of sense. So make sure that you watch the candlestick video as well as the different trading sessions and all the other ones before it. But today we're going to be going over market structure. So this is very, very key and I advise highly that you take notes on this because if you understand this, trading becomes a lot easier at, on the eyes than just looking at a random chart not knowing what's going on. So if you're watching this video, hopefully you've watched the candlestick video before this and you'll understand a little bit what's going on more. So I'm just going to share my screen real quickly and we're going to head into a chart. Just a basic hourly time frame chart on the NZD USD, which is the New Zealand versus the US dollar. So, you know, you can really pull up any chart to explain this, but I like this one just because it's currently in a trend. And I'm definitely going to explain what that is in a little further. But market structure, the main thing you want to find out is if your currencies that you're comparing are in a trend. Now, there's three ways the market can move. It can go up. It can go down and it can go sideways. So just, just looking at this chart right here, we can see that you know overall, the market is in a downtrend just because I can draw a line straight through this and oh, the line's going down. So it means I'm in a downtrend. Now, however, if I take this area of the graph right here, which it is an hourly time frame, so this is a lot of you know this is maybe a couple of days worth maybe even a week of, of movement so if i take the bottom here drag to the top this section of the graph is in an uptrend and right at this point here right here we broke structure which means we trade sorry sorry i can't speak for a second we changed trends I'll zoom in on that area in a little bit, but when you're looking for trend, you want to look at the overall time frame. So I suggest going on a higher time frame and zooming up. So if we zoom all the way up, we can see that this NZD USD currency pair is in a massive downtrend, which is good because when you're figuring out the trend, you always want to trade with the trend. You know, take in this phrase as example and write this in your notebooks. The trend is your friend at the end of the day. If you're trading with the trend, your percentages already go up on winning that trade just because you're going with the market. You never want to predict what's going to happen in the market. You just want to flow with it. So we know that this isn't a downtrend. And I said right here was a mini uptrend. So you can see how it reversed right here because when determining a trend, it either makes higher highs or higher lows for an uptrend and for a downtrend it's lower highs and lower lows so i'm gonna explain that in just a second so if we take this mini uptrend for example boom we can see that right here was a higher high right here was a higher low so what i mean by that is it's a higher low than the previous one or a higher high than the previous spike. So right here is a higher high because it's higher than this one. And we can keep going all the way up the graph. Higher low. Well, this is very crucial to learn, guys. So take notes. Higher low. Higher high. I'm going to show you where the structure broke and how to determine it. Higher low. Higher high. So now it gets a little interesting. And you have a higher low right here. But we can see in the next bit, it's not a higher high, it's actually the same level. So now you're starting to think, well, what happened here? So for this bit of action, I'd say for this movement right here, Everything that's highlighted in this rectangle is what we call sideways trend or consolidation. It's when the market's not in a trend, and that's a market you want to stay out of. So you could have made 
multiple executions on the market on this whole uptrend. You could have bought here, wrote it up, sold, bought, sold, bought, sold, you know, buy low, sell high. But as soon as it doesn't make another higher high or a higher low, you know your market is in consolidation and it's kind of confused on what it's doing at the moment. So we can see it just kind of trades in this range. You don't know whether it's going to go up or down because it's not forming new higher highs or new higher lows, which isn't a good thing for us traders. But the second it breaks this structure, we can see it starts forming lower highs and lower lows. So right here was a lower high of the previous one. Right here was a lower low, a lower high. And you guys might think this is tedious to do on your graphs, but it's very crucial to determine whether you're in an uptrend, a downtrend, or currently consolidating. Lower low, lower high, lower low, and finally lower high. Now, if these multiple green candlesticks keep moving in an upwards movement and get higher than this previous high, we might be looking for another break in structure. But like I said earlier, if you zoom way out, you know that you're currently still in a massive downtrend. So to be selling this market at the moment would be very, very advisable. Because on a greater scale, these are basically just higher lows and higher highs as well, right? It just depends on what kind of trader you are. Either you trade within the day and you're in and out of the market in a couple hours or even a couple minutes, or you're a swing trader like I am some of the times, and you're okay to stay in the market for even a couple days, maybe a week or two, because you know that the overall trend is going your way and going with your position that you took on the market. So that's just about a little bit about market structure. Just remember that you want to trade within the trend. There can only be three trends possible, which is an uptrend, a downtrend, and consolidation. You don't ever usually want to trade in consolidation when you're first starting off because you don't know whether it's going to go up or down. And that's it for me right now. But if you guys look over these videos, you know, make sure you're taking notes because this is the basics. And like I said before in my previous videos, you want to have a solid foundation when it comes to trading because once you have a solid foundation, just like a house, you can build upon it. And it's not like apartment buildings have really weak foundations, right? If they have really strong foundations, you know, concrete, poured, it was done properly, they can build to the, to the sky, the sky's the limit. But anyway, guys, that's my time and uh, see you in the next one.